If we're going to be champions, we can't be fair weather people. We've got to be there when the chips are down. We've got to be there when the smiles are on our faces. True champions fight every day. True champions fight all the time. True champions fight when they're tired. Anybody can go when you're on the mountaintop. But we got to go when we're down in the middle. And we're going to the top. But the march to the top starts right here tonight. This is the year of the Rattler. Go, Rattlers. Go. And we're going to strike. And we're going to strike. And we're going to strike again. This could get ugly. Better than 82,000 on hand to see the Rattlers and Sooners. There is a contingent of Rattler fans down in the corner. And here we go. High end over end kick. Owens feels this in the end zone. will bring it out at the 5, 10, 15, 20. And James Owens down at about the 23-yard line where the Rattlers will begin. First and 10 moving right to left here in Norman, Oklahoma. Rattlers heading toward the north end zone. And here we go. The Rattler offense. Going to come out and see if maybe we can't get a little fast pace going here in Norman this afternoon. Well, Keith, one in games like this, you want to give their offense as few opportunities as they can. To do that, you have to control the football by getting some first downs. All right, Travis Harvey will be wide to the far side. And the Rattlers will flank two receivers to the near side. For the Rattlers, ball's resting at our own 29-yard line. Give is to James Owens. He's got lead blockers. He's got running room. And Owens fights his way out to the 44-yard line. That's a Rattler first down. Move those chains. Running behind a couple of youngsters there, Keith. Kevin House and Zary Patterson. Kevin House, a junior, 6'3", 300 pounds. And Zary Patterson, 6'2", 340 out of four piece. Pierce is a true freshman. First and 10 Rattlers at our own 43-yard line. 14-12 to play first quarter. And there's no score here in Norman. Rattlers flank Travis Harvey wide to the far boundary. Twin receivers to the near side. Send a man in motion. That's James Owens. And this time we fake the, the pass and hand it off and stop for no gain. Is that Lonnie Lockett, the fullback? I think that was number 10, Lee Williams. Lee Keith, Williams. The young freshman out of McClay. One of the fastest Rattlers. He's going to gain one, second down, and nine to go for the Rattlers of Florida a &M. Second and nine, ball's resting at our own 44-yard line. Travis Harvey again goes isolated to the far boundary with twins to the near side. That will be Adamson Felix and Anthony Williams. Sooners bring the blitz. This pass is caught out here by Felix. Tries to stay on his feet. He's going to be hit and dropped. Check that. It's not Felix. Anthony Williams. It's Anthony Williams who makes the catch, but is immediately upended by number 30 for Oklahoma, Javon Harris, the strong safety. Third down and nine for the Rattlers now from our own 44-yard line. Tell you what, though, Keith, Damian Fleming looks sharp on these first few plays against this Oklahoma team. All right, here we go. Damian Fleming, isolation near side this time, flanks the Twins to the far boundary. One setback, and Fleming sets up the pass. Got big rush coming, eludes the rush. And he slips down, way back at the 36-yard line. And so it'll bring up fourth down for the Rattlers of Florida a &M. And it will send in Brandon Holdren to punt. And the Sooners will drop Justin Brown deep to receive for Oklahoma. And 
Justin, 6'3", 209-pound senior out of Wilmington, Delaware. Mike, how did he get way out here in Norman, Oklahoma? Hey, they're a national brand, Keith. They recruit from all over the country. Holdren on the punt. The Rattlers giving him some protection back there. Gets a good snap. Kick is a short kick. Brown feels it with the fair catch at the 31-yard line. And the Sooners will begin first and 10 from there. Let's take a look at the Oklahoma starting lineup. It's Trey Matwire. Uh, 6'1", 190, the freshman out of White House, Texas. Lane Johnson is the left tackle. 6'7", 303, out of Groveton, Texas. Adam Shedd, 6'4", 307, a sophomore out of Cedar Hill, Texas. Gabe Eichert, 6'3", 288, a junior out of Oklahoma City. Bronson Irwin is the right guard, 6'5", 307, a junior out of Mustang. And we'll give you the rest after this play. It's Landry Jones and quarterback. The Heisman Trophy candidate completes his pass to Justin Brown. And Justin spinning and turning. He is dropped by a host of Rattlers at about the 38-yard line. But that's going to be a gain of eight on first down, second and two. Darrell Williams is the right tackle, 6'6", 299, a sophomore out of Lake Dallas, Texas. Geno Grissom, 6'4", 247, the sophomore out of Hutchinson, Kansas, is the tight end. And they hand it off to Dominic Whaley. And Whaley straight ahead. Close to a first down, but it looks like it's going to be third down and about one to go for Oklahoma. The quarterback, Landry Jones, 6'4", 218, a senior out of Artesia, New Mexico. And Trey Millard is the fullback, 6'2", 256, a junior out of Columbia, Missouri. Dominique Quayley, 6'5", 11, 204, a senior out of Lawton, Oklahoma. The third down and one for the Sooners. And here we go. This is a different quarterback, and he's going to be dropped and stop. Blake Bell came in to run the play, and the Rattlers come up and make a big stop. Is it Devin Roberts? Looks like it may have been Devin Roberts, Mike, who came up to make the play. Let's see. On the Jumbotron replay. That's number three, Marvin Ross, the cornerback, one of the first Rattlers yeah. to get there. Yep. No, actually, Devin Roberts is 313 is Marvin Ross. So maybe they combine on the tackle. Brings up fourth down for the Oklahoma Sooners. The Rattler defense has held. How about that? Here we go. Tight, high spiral. Lots of hang time on this one. And Ross feels it and tries to make a play. Runs backwards and then bumped out of bounds at about the 13-yard line. He, was, he lost about two yards trying to turn around and make a play. And so the Rattlers will start our second offensive possession of the afternoon from our own 13-yard line. Yep. A capacity crowd, Mike, here in Oklahoma Memorial. And, boy, we're looking right across, Keith, the people up in the, the upper upper deck, and some of those seats were filled like an hour before game time. They were already getting up there in position. Good defensive stand, though, Keith, on that first series of plays. Anytime you get a stop against this Oklahoma Sooner defense, well, you've got to stand up and give yourself a hand. Yeah. Well, the good thing is, Keith, we've had a little bit of success on both sides of the ball. We got the initial first down on that we had it, and then we came up with a big defensive stop on that third down play. So, so far, so good. Man, that's like a giant fly <laughs> walking right in front of us here. Boy, they've, they've got some big bugs out here in Oklahoma. Hey, Keith the Mike. All right, Sean. Hey, two things I'm going to let y'all know about the sidelines real quick. Number one, I've been peeking my ears into the huddles down here with the coaches. They've just been pushing for the fellas to be very aggressive. Say aggressive, go out and put it on the field. Number two, we've, we've used up two timeouts already. I'm not going to tell you everything, but let's just say this crowd noise is playing a big part in what they can hear down here on the sidelines. Back to you guys. All right, thank you, Sean. And I want to say hi to Elton Gumble and his bride, Adria. Elton didn't make the trip. Adria, of course, uh, carrying the little Gumble. And I uh, hope she's feeling good. And I know she's happy that Elton's there. All right, here we go. Damian Fleming going to pass. Got a man downfield. Harvey, he, he made the catch, but did he come down in bounds? I think no, they're he saying it's a catch. And he's going to take that to the 38-yard line. That's a Rattler first down. Move those chains. Keith Lane Harvey has just been an outstanding fan for us. He's been here for four years. Travis here from Englewood, California. This is his first full year of eligibility. And so far this season, he has been spectacular. Yeah, Mike, he really is 6'4", 185. And certainly he has uh, uh, the certainly the size of, an, of a next-level wide receiver. And Keith, they may be challenging the catch as the officiating crew, I think, may be going down to check this out at the booth. Yeah, I think you're right. 
from our vantage point, it seemed to be some question on whether or not he came down in bounds or not. They're going to go with the replay officials in the press box, and they're going to show it on the jumbotron. And let's see. Boy, it looks like it's hard to see whether he came down with see, that yeah. foot in bounds or not. Really, from that view. I tell you what, we could have used the replays last week in Nashville on on the two final plays uh, of the Rattlers had possession uh, down in the end zone. But every, every video and photograph we've seen, Mike, Damian Fleming was in the end zone. Yeah, no question about it. No question about it. The Rattlers, go, however, Keith, are off to a good start. Even if this pass is incomplete, it was right on the money, and Travis Harvey was able to go over one of the Oklahoma State defenders to come down and make that catch. Mike Stoops, who was the defensive coordinator out at uh, the University of Arizona, has come back to help his big brother out and is the defensive coordinator here now at Oklahoma, and they've come up with a decision. After further review, the ruling on the field stands as called. First down. It's a first down for the Rattlers. Mike, uh, speaking of uh, Mike Stoops, when uh, he was here last in 2000, the Sooners won a national championship. Absolutely. He is the defensive coordinator. All right, first and ten Rattlers. Ball's resting at our own 38-yard line. We have 33 passing yards right now to the Sooners' nine, and they have a negative one yards rushing. Damian Fleming sets up. We've got penalty markers. This is going to go against the Rattlers. Uh, got to get a false start here. That's going to back us up five yards. Zone defense so far from the Oklahoma Sooners. Number 72, five-yard penalty, first down. Number 72, that's Robert Hartley moving a little bit earlier. He's the left tackle. Keith, it looks as though that's number 78 for the Rattlers playing left guard. And I believe that's Drew Savory, the freshman out of Tallahassee, North Florida Christian. All right, here we go. The Rattlers this time going to send triplets to the far boundary and isolate Travis Harvey to the near side. And Damian Fleming sets up. Boy, he's got big pressure coming, and the receiver drops the ball. Shades of last week, it was Anthony Williams, Mike. He had the inside screen set up, but he dropped the pass. And it was a perfect call, Keith. They brought the pressure. The rattling line was set up, going down field blocking, but the ball is not caught. It's going to bring up second down and 15. Second and 15 now for the Rattlers. Ball's resting back at our own 34-yard line. 9.40 to play in the first quarter. No score in Norman, Oklahoma. And Damian Fleming, the Rattler quarterback, going to bunch three this time to the far side and isolate Harvey again to the near side. And this time he throws the slant for Harvey, who sure-handed makes the catch and takes it back near the original line of scrimmage. It looks like it's going to be right a yard beyond the original line of scrimmage and make it third down now and nine to go for Rattler first down. Yeah, Damian Flinton right now, four or five, 40 yards in this ball game. His counterpart, Landry Jones, only one of one for nine yards. Yeah, Rattlers, uh, we, we got to take these while we can, Mike. The Rattlers leading in total yards, 46 to 8 at this point in the first quarter with 9.06 to play. And here we go, the Rattlers. Balls resting on our own 40. Damian Fleming got penalty markers again, and this is going to go against Fam. Yeah, again, I think we get a flinch from one of the offensive linemen. And boy, right now, penalties hurting us offensively. Full start. Offense number 72, five-yard penalty, third down. Against Robert Hartley, but Keith, again, it's the crowd noise that's the problem. And as loud as this stadium is, Mike, you can hear the train in the background, and you can see it. Adding to the noise here level here in Memorial Stadium. Well, we've seen everything in Oklahoma. It's been a great trip. I'll tell you what. My first time in Oklahoma. First time, Keith, and everybody out here is wearing cowboy boots. Yeah. All right, here we go. Damian Fleming, third down. And 14 to go for a Rattler first down. Fleming wants to pass. Sets up. Tries to shake the defender. Now throws the pass. And it's incomplete. It was intended for Eddie Rocker. And it's going to bring up fourth down for the Rattlers. Damian Mike was not fully committed to the run. And at the last second decided to pull the trigger and pass. And uh, I'm not sure if Eddie was ready for the pass or not. But he doesn't hold on. He actually was good contact there by uh, Justin Brown. 
Well, check that. Was it Brown? It was 14 for Oklahoma. Aaron Colvin. Aaron Colvin, and it's going to bring up fourth down for the Rattlers. Brandon Holdren checks on the punt. And gets off a beautiful kick. Fair catch call for and made. Whoa. At the 33-yard line, and the Sooners now will begin their second possession of the afternoon from there. Fleming in the open field. All right, here we go. It's Landry Jones, the legitimate Heisman Trophy candidate from the gun with one setback. He's looking to pass. Sets up, has great protection. This pass is in and out of the Rattlers' defensive man's hands. That should have been an interception. Ball hit him right in the hands, Keith. That's Devin Roberts, the safety. And, boy, he won't get an easier opportunity at a as, at an interception than that one. Um, I, one of the things I was afraid of with this big crowd like this that we might be intimidated by the crowd, Devin Roberts certainly had an interception. He never should have dropped that. We hit him right in the hands. Here we go. Landry Jones, second down at 10. Again, now he's got pressure setting up the screen pass. He makes the completion. He's got blockers out front, got in still running room, and fights his way to the 46-yard line, and that's a sooner first down. They will move the change. That pass was complete to Dominic Qualey, and he fought off a couple of Rattlers and got the first down for Oklahoma. And you see them hustling back to the line of scrimmage. As soon as the guy takes his hand off that ball, they're going to snap, and they've got another play going here. All right, Landry Jones fires down. Field. That pass is caught. That's a big catch. He took a huge hit after he makes the catch. That pass was caught downfield by number four. Kenny Steals and Mike, their penalty markers on the on the play, and it may be that the Rattler defender led with his helmet. Defense number three. Target. 15-yard penalty. First down. Devin Roberts is called for leading with his head and uh on top of the big first down by Kenny Stills. Oh, I'm not know. sure. I don't, I don't, I don't uh, know. After looking at that replay, yeah, it was just replay, a good tackle. It was a good tackle. But the Sooners now with the football down at the round, the 15-yard line. Shoot, Joe Taylor should throw the flag on the penalty call. That was not leading with the helmet. But the Sooners have it. First down and 10 now at the Rattler 16-yard line after the 15-yard personal foul is tacked on. They give it to Dominic Whaley. He's got blockers in front, and Whaley fights his way all the way down to the Rattler 3. And just look how quickly the Sooners now have put some offensive numbers up on that board. Yeah, and again, Keith, this, this high pace offense, you see the speed that they're running their plays there at the line of scrimmage, not letting the Rattlers get any substitutes in the game. 57 total yards now for Oklahoma. 12 yards rushing, 45 passing. They're ahead of the Rattlers now. And Landry Jones and the Sooners knocking at the door at the Rattler three. They give it to a new back in, and he walks in the end zone. That's number 26 for Oklahoma. Zach Sanchez. Is that right? That's Zach is. Sanchez walks in for the score. Now, Keith, I think that's Damian Williams. Yeah, it is Damian. They, Looks they like got, they're both wearing the same number. Yeah, both wearing 26. Damian Williams, six foot, 208 pound junior out of San Diego, and the Sooners are on the board. 6-0. Yeah, Damon's a junior college transfer, and he actually was their leading rusher last week with 106 yards. All right, Michael Honeycutt on to attempt the point after, and holding will be Trace, Trace Way. Kick is airborne and good. And so, with 7.05 to play here in the first half, our score, Oklahoma 7, FAMU nothing, and we'll be back after these words from our network sponsors on the Rattler Sports Network.
Rattler Booster Program supports all athletic programs at the university. Join the Rattler Booster Club. It's not too late. The Sooners of Oklahoma. And the Rattlers will... This is James Owens. He's going to field this about five yards in the end zone. Turns up field and Owens stumbles his way past the 15 out to the 16 yard line. And the Rattlers will begin our third possession of the afternoon from there. 7 0. The Sooners of Oklahoma lead with seven minutes to play in the first quarter. You know, we talked some about the new rules last week, Keith. We just saw one of them. If your helmet comes off, you have the whistle is immediately blown and that you have to leave the player, the playing field for one play. Also, the kickoff has been moved up, and if you kick the ball into the end zone, they don't bring it out for the touchback. It comes out now to the 25-yard line. All right, Damian Fleming and the Rattler offense set to go. We send Harvey to the far boundary. We give it this time to Eddie Rocker, and the Rocket scoops his way to the 20-yard line. That's a good run, Mike, on first down. Eddie Rocket's going to gain, uh, looks like four, second down, well, maybe three, second down and seven to go for a Rattler first down. I'll tell you what, Keith, this Rattler offensive line with two true freshmen starting is doing a decent job here against this Oklahoma front. Second down and seven now for the Rattlers. Actually, they're, they're calling it six, so give the Rocket four yards on that first carry. And Fleming now going to send Owens in motion. That'll shift three receivers over here to the boundary. He's going to throw downfield, and he overthrows everybody. It was intended for Travis Harvey, but he got hung up. The Sooners, Mike, very smartly have recognized that Travis Harvey is the go-to guy, and they had him double covered. Yeah, absolutely. Double coverage that time. They're a zone defensive team key. Their base defense actually is a 4-2-5. Uh, the young man they call the Sam linebacker is only 191 pounds, so it's a yeah. fort they're in a nickel basically all of the all time. All the time, that's right. All right, here we go. Harvey wide to the far boundary, isolated, and twins again to the near side for Damian Fleming. In the backfield, it's Eddie the Rocket Rocker, and Fleming wants to pass again. He's going to be flushed out of the pocket. He's in the grasp. Rattlers can't get a – nope. Boy, big number, 72. Hartley didn't block anybody. He actually – well, we got to do a better job of helping our teammates out here. Damian Fleming had pressure, fought it off, and boy, Robert Hartley had a chance to put a nice block on somebody to free his quarterback, but you're going to lose more yards on the play and make it fourth down for the Rattlers now and about 14 yards to go for first down. In well, you got to put a hat on somebody. Yep. Here we go. Holdren going to punt from the end zone. The Sooners are going to get good field position. And here we go. Field it at the 45, at the 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10. Five and down at the one-yard line. Oh, that said it's a touchdown. I think that's going to have to replay. He looked like he was down before. And it looks he like he was down at the one. But we'll see. But Keith, on that play, several Rattlers had a chance to bring him down. Akil Blunt, the young freshman, coming down the punt team, had the first shot at him. Justin Brown returned it, took it to the house. It's going to be under further review. Looks like he went down at the one from our vantage point. But yeah. we'll see. Yeah, a couple of Rattlers actually had a shot at him as soon as he fielded that punt. He was able to break away, dove from about the four-yard line, and he came close, but I think he was down just short of the end zone. And, Mike, uh, one of the good things about playing at this level is it will point out some of your weaknesses. And if we're going to be a contender in the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference, we're going to have to tackle better than that. We, we had a chance to stop him in the conference. We're going to have to make that play. We're going to have to make that tackle. It's one of the things that you get out of playing these type games. You get... The really the ultimate test against all your team. And if you've got some seams leaking somewhere, these teams will expose it, and you'll have a chance to get it fixed before we go into this conference play. Yeah. Looks like Justin Brown, from our vantage point, was down at the one, but we'll await the official word. Still looking at it. They gave us one look at it, and but it really couldn't tell whether he got in or not. We're located here in... Norman, Oklahoma. This school was founded in 1890. Here we go. Here's the, here's the ruler. After further review, 
The intercepting player stepped out of bounds at the four yard line. Stepped out at the four. Stepped out at the four. And so. Well, I tell you, Mike, we're, we're pretty good at what we're seeing up here. And I tell you what, we're high enough that we can see it all pretty good, too. Yeah. So he went out of bounds at the four. And so the Sooners will have it first and goal to go now at the round of four-yard line. 5.22 to play here in the first quarter. The Sooners lead 7 to nothing. Rattlers have had opportunities, but once again, just like in the Tennessee State game, Mike, we've blown them. Yeah, and it's, it's been good Oklahoma play, but it's more it's been more mistakes on our part. All right, here we go. Landry Jones and the Sooners set to go. Damian Williams once again in the backfield for Oklahoma. He virtually walked into the end zone his last time with the ball, and he gets it again. And this time, boy, the round, boy, he that's a determination, spinning and turning. Williams in for the second time this afternoon. That's what we needed a week ago in Nashville. Yeah, got the good push up front, and then we got some power running, just continues to keep his legs driving and gets into the end zone. 5 17 remaining in the first quarter, and the Oklahoma Sooners have taken a 13 0 lead. All right, Honeycutt on to attempt the point after. Trace Way will hold. Here's a snap placement. Kick is airborne and good. And so the 5-17 to play in the first quarter. Our score, Oklahoma 14, Florida and m Nothing will be back after these words from our local sponsors on the Rattler Sports Network. I'm Mickey Clayton, Executive Director of the Rattler Booster Club. The Rattler Booster Club contributed $591,000 to the Athletic Department of Florida A&M University. Some of the things we were able to purchase this year was the Jumbotron, and we assisted with the scoreboard and the Al Lawson Center, and golf carts for our seasoned Rattler Booster supporters, pitching machine for the baseball team, the shooting machine for the basketball team. So the Rattler Booster program supports all athletic programs. Join the Booster Club. Call the Rattler Booster office at 850-224-6093. It's not too late. Back live to Oklahoma Memorial Stadium. The Sooners lead 14 to nothing, and here we go. High end over end kick. And boy, drives the Rattler, James Owens, to near the back of the end zone. It's gonna sail out of bounds, and the Rattlers will begin first and 10. At our own 20. At the 25. Actually, 25. Yeah. Well, Keith, the Rattlers actually have moved the football. We've been hurt by some movement penalties before the snap. But all in all, not a bad first quarter. Yep. Had a real golden opportunity with the interception, but dropped it. And here we go. Damian Fleming, Mike, has looked sharp at quarterback for FAMU. Fleming, first down. Rattlers at our own 25, moving right to left. This time, Fleming gives to James Owens. And Owens, no check that, it's Eddie Rocker. And he's going to be stopped for maybe a yard game, but not much more. Second and nine for the Rattlers of Florida AM. You know, a good play fake that time by uh, the quarterback Damian Fleming after he handed that football off. Should have kept it. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Take the read and roll. Second down and nine for the Rattlers from our own 26 yard line. We trail 14 0. Here in Norman, Oklahoma. Again, it's the Rocket in the backfield. Sooners bringing the blitz this time. Fleming steps up. He's got running room, but he fires, and that pass is incomplete. Damien's got to run the ball, Mike. He's going to have to take. He's going to pull it down and go. Yeah, he had open spaces in front of him. He certainly could have run for the first down. But the Rattler receivers again, Keith. They've got to come up with those throws. It was a little bit low, but you've got to come up with that catch. Yeah, Anthony Williams, I think, was the intended receiver. Falls incomplete. Third down and nine for the Rattlers of Florida a and, and And now you can see how the missing receivers, Lennon and Harvey, are hurting this Rattler offense. Third down and nine for the Rattlers of Florida a and m Rattlers going to send a bunch three to the far boundary. Isolate Harvey and Fleming. Going to throw away downfield. He's, oh, this is picked off at midfield. And making the interception is strong safety Javon Harris. 5'11", 205-pound senior out of Lawton, Oklahoma. 
And the Sooners will have excellent field position starting at midfield. Yeah, not a good throw there from by Damian Fleming. Had time. He stepped up nicely in the pocket. But they were just sitting back in that zone, easily intercepting that overthrow. And so Landry Jones and the Oklahoma Sooners back on offense. And they're going to start at the Rattler 49-yard line is where they mark the football. 424 to play here in the first quarter. Jones sends triplets to the near boundary with one setback. Going to throw the bubble screen out here for Tenney Stills. And Stills fights his way to the 45-yard line of the Rattlers. Maybe the 44. We'll see where they spot the football. But that'll be a gain of about four and make it second down and six for the Sooners. Yeah, Rattler's got to get more pressure on uh, Landry Jones. He's having too much time to sit back. Spread formation this time. Twins to either side for Landry Jones. And Jones, boy, to throw the slant out here. Got a man wide open, and the Rattler defender comes up and forces him out of bounds at about the 33-yard line, but not before it's a first down for the Oklahoma Sooners. And right back at the line of scrimmage, they're ready to go. And here we go. They give it to number 24 this time. That's Brennan Clay, yep. but there's a penalty marker on There's the a penalty marker down, Keith, and we have, might have a blocking penalty against Oklahoma on that one. After the play was over, personal foul, offense, number 64. 15-yard penalty. It's second down. Personal foul against... Uh, an offensive lineman for Oklahoma. Now, uh, Mike, let's give these Oklahoma fans some credit. They know that they've got a good drive going, and that hurt the, their their drive. That's Gabe Ickert, the center, and they booed to let him know that's not what we want. Hey, this is a very knowledgeable crowd. Keith, one of the best that you'll ever ever see. They know exactly when to cheer, when to make the noise, and, and they know what's going to help this football team. Yeah. Hey, Keith and Mike, I'm glad you guys are actually talking about the crowd. I'm over here on the back row behind the football team. A couple of the coaches just had to step back and kind of grab some of the players because you got some of your, your fans are kind of leaning over and being those wonderful naggers that the Oklahoma Sooners are seeming to be over here. <laughs> well, we are the visitors. And uh, part of uh, the crowd's job, Mike, is to intimidate the opposing There's team. No question about it. They are the 12th man, and that's what we hope that Bragg Stadium will be next when week. we come home next week. Yeah. All right, here we go. It's going to make it second down and 17 for Oklahoma. And again, they go to the spread offense. Twin receivers to either side. Yeah, changing the play now. And Brennan Clay in the backfield as Landry Jones audibles against the Rattler defense. The Rattlers actually drop off. Clay is wide open. Oh, we had a go hole. Deep. And he goes downfield. That pass is caught by Kenny Stills. Or is it, it was, was it dropped? I think he dropped it. it. Looks like he dropped it. Boy, he had two Rattler defenders beat. The pass was on the money, but it looks like Kenny Stills dropped that pass. And it looked like Brandon, yeah, it was actually yeah. knocked out of his hand. Yeah, that's a good defensive Jonathan play. Jonathan Pillow. Yeah. Jonathan Pillow strips it away from Kenny Stills, and it makes it third down and 17 now for the Sooners at the Rattler 40-yard line with 258 to play. In the first quarter. And I think we had some holding out there. Ellie Hippolyte was getting some penetration and was dragged down by the left tackle. All right, here we go. Landry Jones triplets to the far boundary this time. Isolation near side. And boy, he's going to throw. And boy, that's a great defensive effort. That pass was caught out of bounds, but the Rattler defender over there, Devin Roberts, went up high to try and change the trajectory of the pass, and it's going to bring up a fourth down now for the Sooners of Oklahoma. And Trace away will check on the punt. And so again, Mike, for the second time in this first quarter, the Rattler defense has stopped the number five team in FBS college football, the Oklahoma Sooners, and forced them to punt. Rattlers in punt safe. Boy, he might want to let that one go into the end zone. Let's see. All right, it's going to hit. It's going to go out of bounds at about the eight-yard line. So, like, they even got that down to a science here. They're aiming for that coffin corner. 
and they pin us down at the eight-yard line. Well, at this level, Keith, it's going to take all three yeah. uh, components when you have to have a good special teams along with an offense and defense. But remember, Keith, when the, when the Florida State Seminoles came out here a year ago, these Oklahoma Sem Sem uh, Sooners put 47 up on them. Well, as uh, our good friend Ron Gerard out in Las Vegas would say, the Seminoles got polexed. <laughs> so here we go. Rattlers on our fourth possession, offensive possession of the afternoon. We started our own eight, and we've got penalty flags on them. Yeah, I think the Rattlers are going to get a free five, Keith. The, uh, there were 12 players that time in the Sooner defense. And Damian Fleming's going to give to the eye back, bounce outside. That's a nice run by the Rocket, and he fights his way to the 25-yard line. That's a first down for Eddie Rocker. And the Rocket Man is going to pick up about 16 yards on that carry. Yeah, and the most imp uh, impressive thing about that, though, Keith, they're going to the side with a freshman guard, young man doing an excellent job of the Drew Savory, 300 pound out of North Florida Christian, a true freshman. And that's an excellent run by a Rocket. All right, here we go. Rattlers this time isolate Travis Harvey near side. Lee Williams goes in motion. And that gives us triplets over to the boundary. This is Damian. This time he decides to run, keeps it, and fights his way to about the 18-yard line. And again, Mike, the running lanes, now that the Rattlers have something going, it's, it's, there have been running lanes for Damian. This time he decides to pull it down and go. Yeah, and what Damian needs to trust his speed, Keith. I think he, he's trying to cut back a little too much. The field may be a little bit slick. He's got to trust his speed and outrun those defensive line. Yeah, he picked up five yards on that carry. Second down and five for the Ramblers now. The ball resting at our own 28-yard line. Fleming this time. Play action. Going to pass. This pass is caught. Ooh, that's a huge hit. But the Rattler receiver held on, Mike. And that is Adamson Felix. Give Adamson some credit because he was polexed as he caught that pass, but he held on. Yeah, big hit, but he held on, Keith, and that's what his job is. You're going to get hit playing the receiver spot. If, if that first catch was a penalty against the Rattlers, the same kind of hit right there, we don't get the personal foul penalty. Yeah, it was Javon Harris, the strong uh, safety, who made the hit. It's third down and one for the Rattlers. And let's see if the Rattlers can't pick up the first down here against the number five team in FBS football. We, we, this would be a big little victory. And play action. Damian wants to pass, has time, now fires. Oh, and that pass is the Cut. receiver came back to yep. make the catch, but he's going to lose yards on the play. Yep. He's going to lose yards, so it's going to bring up a fourth down. Actually made the catch. I'll tell you what, that was good discipline. Uh, by the Oklahoma defense, Keith. The Rattlers brought in their big package. They play action, tried to fool them on it, but it was good coverage downfield. Yeah, it was Michael Morris who made the catch. He's a tight end, 6'4", 230, a red shirt uh, freshman out of Jacksonville, Andrew Jackson. But we ended up losing two yards on the play, and it's going to bring up fourth down and three for the Rattlers of Florida. And 20 seconds remaining. In the first quarter, Brandon Holdren on the punt. And Brandon, this is a beautiful punt. High spiral. And uh, again, <laughs> the crowd booed because he looked as though he was going to drop that yeah, ball. Yeah, Justin Brown makes the fair catch. And boy, the Oklahoma Sooners, there were Rattlers right in his face should he have dropped it. That's good kick coverage. That was good kick coverage and a nice high punt to get down under. Ten seconds remaining. Time for one more play here in the first quarter. Well, if you're just tuning in, our score here in Norman, Oklahoma, 14 to nothing. The Sooners lead, but the Rattlers have played inspired football here, Mike, in the first quarter. Here we go. Landry Jones, legitimate Heisman Trophy candidate, loads up that Sooner offense. And he's got twin receivers to the near side. He's going to run the football this time. They turn the corner. He's going to scoot up and be bumped out of bounds about the 35-yard line. That's a gain of three. Second down and seven for Oklahoma. Yeah, it looks like they're going to just give him credit for two yards. That ball's going to be spotted right at the 35-yard line. Yeah, so a second and eight for the Sooners. Good Rattler defense that time, too, to ride that play right down the line and then bump the ball carry out. That's the end of the first quarter of play with our score from Norman. Oklahoma 14, Florida and of nothing. We'll be back after these words from our network sponsors on the Rattler Sports Network.
90.5, the flavor station, always representing that real hip-hop and R&B. Sean D is in the building to that 7 o'clock hour. Left, and they throw the out. It's caught, but that's good defense over there by Marvin Ross, who steps right up and drops Trey McTwire. It's going to bring up third down and about three to go now for the Sooners of Oklahoma. Trey McTwire, just a freshman. Landry Jones wants to pass, goes deep down. It's, pick, it's picked off. It's picked off. Who comes up with it? This time it's Devin Robertson. This time he makes the interception. Yeah, excellent coverage that time underneath. He was able to have to force that ball over a linebacker. And in the back, Devin Robertson's safety picks that football off, and the Rattlers are going to take over at the 34-yard line. And for the third time this afternoon, the Rattler defense has stopped this vaunted Oklahoma offense. No question about it, Keith. This is a loaded offense. They returned three of their top four receivers. They returned their quarterback. And they, of course, have got an excellent uh, group of running backs. All right, third down, first down now and 10 for the Rattlers of Florida. And then we start at our own 34-yard line, moving left to right as we begin the second quarter of play. Damian Fleming. Gives to Eddie Rocker, and the Rocket fights his way across the 35 up to about the 38-yard line. That's a good run on first down. And again, good blocking on the play, Keith. Again, on the, that time, the left side. They're going to give him three. Sec, third, second down and seven to go for a Rattler first down. 14.08 to go here in the first half, and the Rattlers trail 14-0. Damian Fleming this time, two back set. Going to send James Owens in motion. And this time, give it again to the Rocket. And boy, the Rocket, that's the stretch play, Mike. The Rock, oh, it's a different back. It was Lee Williams. Lee was going to try and turn up and fight at that seam. But when he turned, the linebacker coming right down the line stepped up and cut him down. Yeah, it was actually, Keith, it was a free safety. Jesse Paulson, yeah. they had eight okay. men in the box that time. And he came down and made that play. It's going to be third down and about six yards to go. Yeah, he did gain a yard, but it's makes it third down now and six for the Rattlers. Anthony Williams, Adamson Felix, twins to the far boundary. And now Michael Etheridge shifts, and they bunch three. And Travis Harvey is isolated near side. Damian Fleming going to fire downfield for Harvey. And Harvey makes a catch. Let's see if they rule it a catch. They're going to say he was out of bounds. Boy, that was an excellent effort by Travis Harvey. He came down with the football, but they're ruling that he was out of bounds. Again, Keith having to fight the defender all the way down the field. And at that time, you can see that right foot was on the line. Fourth down for the Rattlers. And Brandon Holdren will come on to punt. And deep to receive for the Oklahoma Sooners will be Justin Brown. 14-0, the Sooners lead. 13.06 to play here in the first half. And Brandon Holdren gets off another tight spiral. Brown calls for the boy, fair catch. Real late fair yeah, catch. Boy, he barely got that hand above his head to make the fair catch. Yeah, and actually you're supposed to get it above your head and wave it. And he didn't really do that. He got it up, though. And so the Sooners will begin first and 10 from their own. Here we go. Landry Jones and the Oklahoma Sooners go offset eye this time. And they give it to the eye back, breaks the tackle. And finally, the Rattlers converge to make the stop. That was Whaley, the ball carrier. And uh, straight ahead, he's going to pick up about five, maybe six and call it second down and about four to go for the Oklahoma Sooners. Yeah, second and five. Here we go. Offset eye once again for Landry Jones. And this time they give it to Dominic Whaley again. The Rattlers step up this Good time. Tackle. That's a great tackle. Looks like the ball loose. popped out. The Rattlers say we have it. There's a scramble for the football, and let's see. John Ojo was a Rattler defender who stepped up to make that tackle. Now they're trying to unpile everybody down here. And the Rattlers come out and say they have yeah, it. Yeah. And the referee's, yeah, the referee's pointing down. Uh, he's pointing that the Rattlers do have the football. And so a break for the Rattlers. And uh, it looks like Denmark comes up with the football. And Marvin Ross and the Rattlers are going to take over at the 30-yard line of the Oklahoma Sooners. And, boy, this is certainly a chance for the Rattlers to get some points on the board. It was John Ojo, Keith, who stepped up and made a big-time tackle. 
Yeah, that ball popped out, and there was a mad scram. I think it was Marvin Ross, Mike, who was the bottom man on the pile with the football. Here we go. Rattlers start first and 10 now at the Sooner 30-yard line. This has been our best field position of the afternoon. Oh, no question. Damian Fleming going to go. Travis Harvey isolated near boundary. Twin receivers to the far side. And Fleming's going to swing it out. He's got the swing pass there for James Owen. Spins a ho uh, leaves a sooner in his tracks and fights his way to the 24-yard line. That's a good-looking run after catch by the speedster, James Owen. And a good read by Damian Fleming. They brought the strong safety that time on a blitz. And he was able to get that ball out to the flats and open space where James Owens could use his quickness. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification on the Rattler Sports Network. Rattlers shift into a bunch three. Isolation far boundary. Damian Fleming's going to pass. Sets up. Swings underneath again. This pass is caught by Adamson Felix. Yeah, really his forward progress is right. Maybe a yard gain on the play. It'll bring up third down. Yeah, it is a yard gain. Third down and about four to go for Rattler first down. Yeah, and it would be big to pick up a first down right here, Keith, to get him a little bit closer. Rattler's getting more confident, yeah, as the game goes on. All right, here we go. Anthony Williams and Adamson Felix, twin receivers to the far boundary. Travis Harvey is isolated near side. The Rocket, Eddie Rocker, the lone rattler sent back, and now Felix flips to the other side. Fleming fires his pass. Oh, that's, well, that's interference. Pass interference. He was all over the rattler defender. Paulson, the, the safety. Certainly looked like pass interference. And here we go on the jumbotron. We can see it again. But oh, yeah, he's oh, all, he's over. all over the Rattler receiver. We don't get a flag on the play. Looks like the Rattlers are going to try to get the goose egg off the board, though, as they send in the field goal team. This is yeah, Chase Fonador. It's going to be a 46-yard attempt. He, we, we watched him, Keith. He was hitting him from this range uh, in warm-ups. 41-yard attempt from the right hash mark. Chase Vonder. It uh, looks like it's Brandon Holdren holding now. Snap placement. Kick is airborne. And, and it's good. good. Chase Vonador puts the Rattlers on the board with a 41-yard field goal in our score. In Norman, Oklahoma, Oklahoma 14, Florida and m 3 with 10.52 to play in the first half. We'll be back after these words from our network sponsors on the Rattlers Sports Network. The flavor station always represent that real hip hop and RB. Sean D is in the building to that 7 o'clock hour. And hey, Van of Florida. And here we go. Great kickoff this time. This is Chase Varnador. Going to kick this thing ten, five yards into the end zone. They won't return it out. And so the Sooners will start first and 10 from their own 25. Yeah, want to say hi to Gene, my mom, and uh, all the family. You know, give them a big shout out down in T-Town. Yeah, I want to say hi to the Seniors clan and all of Robert Seniors folks over there. and uh, The Walker clan and uh, Chief Walker out there in Talladega. He's uh, following the Rattlers today. And uh, Sean D's folks, the Gumbles. I want to say hi to the Gumbles. They would have been here today. And uh, Yeah, well, Sean D's locked and loaded down on the sideline. Yeah. I'm going to say hi to Dorothy Williams, the Boosters president. Dr. Jim Hawkins going to be retiring. Actually has already officially retired. His big event is next week. That pass thrown behind the intended sooner receiver. And Mike, looks like the Rattler defense getting a little confident, too. Yes, absolutely, Keith. And I tell you what, Brandon Denmark is a stud. 6'4", about 235 pounds outside linebacker running a 4'4", let me say hi to Brenda Moss, uh, Ashley Moss, Veronica McGriff, and Betty Reeves. And Mike, I understand we, we were part of Reverend R.B. Holmes' sermon last week at Bethel Baptist. So I want to say hi to Brother Dr. Reverend R.B. Holmes. He's listening in on the Rattler Sports Network. How you doing, Rev? Here we go. Tra uh, Landry Jones back to pass. Boy, and that's a great defensive play. That pass was intended for the tight end. And Brandon Hepburn, excuse me, Dr. Dr. Brandon yeah, Hepburn, Dr. Hepburn, reached in front of him and batted that pass down. Third down and 10 for Oklahoma. Yeah, good coverage. 
great technique as he got his outside hand and knocked that football down. Third and ten for the Sooners. As the Rattlers are becoming more and more confident with each play. Rattlers jump to get back. Landry Jones, oh, we're, oh they're going to get the pack. We're going to get the penalty on us. And boy, there's a bumping and going on, and, and we're going to get another penalty. We're going to get some pass interference. On yeah, and they, they're going to, uh, I think, let both those go and take and the take pass, the pass reception. Yeah. Ball was caught by Justin Brown way down at the round of 29 yard line. So the round of defense, first two plays of this series had done extremely well, but we're going to give it the big play. Yeah, they're going to decline both penalties and take the play, which will spot the football at the round of 29-yard line. The round of defense broke down that time, Mike. They did great on first down and second down, but give up the big play on third. And down. it was actually excellent coverage, Keith. He was right in position, just got out jumped by the receiver. First and 10, Sooners at the round of 29. Landry Jones this time sets up, fires for the end zone. And boy, that's a great defensive play down there. By number six for the round, is that a pillow? I think that was number five, Patrick Aiken. Yeah, it was Patrick Aiken, that's right. Patrick Aiken, 5'10", 170, the redshirt freshman out of Pembroke Pines. And Patrick Aiken. Now give the secondary credit, Keith. They've been in position to make a play on all these balls. All right, here we go. Second down and 10 for the... Sooners of Oklahoma who changed up their play after they take a look at the Rattler defense and actually the Rattlers now seem to have changed their own and it Rattlers are changing after they change the play they're going to throw the bubble screen up the middle and boys got serious running room they're going to be tripped and dropped down at the 10 yard line that pass was caught a late penalty marker comes out so let's see what that is Kenny, Kenny Stills made the reception and took it down to the timber. Their penalty markers on the play. Yeah, and it may be. Let's see. Let's see who they got. It looked like the referee who threw it. Personal foul. Clipping. Offense. Number 69. And that's going to nullify a big play for the Sooners. Yeah. Clipping is the call. That's a 15-yard mark off. That's a 15-yard mark off. So let's see. That was a second down play. And they're backing it up now outside the 35 yard line. It's going to be second down and about 20 yards to go from the Rattler 38. Yep. Uh, lots of, but that was a huge penalty. Nullified. Actually, the Sooners would have had it at the Rattler 10 yard line, Mike. But um, it's going to nullify that big play by Kenny Stills. And make it second down and 18. Landry Jones back to pass. Sets up, fires across the middle again. Same play caught by Kenny Stills at the 15. And that's a first down for Oklahoma. Yeah, the Rattlers only went with a three-man rush right there. Just too much time for Landry Jones. They hit the crossing pattern right between the Rattler linebackers. And that's a big first down at the 15. And again, they're lined up quickly at the line of scrimmage with their high-speed offense. Right, motion right now. Landry Jones has the in the eye formation. He makes the handoff. Good block. He breaks away Jamie 10 yard line. Five. Boy, he's going to die for the end zone. Does he get there? I don't see a. Oh, yeah, there it is. A touchdown. As Damian Williams, his third touchdown of the afternoon from 15 yards out. Damian Williams sweeping to the right. Had one rattle to beat. And that was number 16 for the Rattlers, Antoine Matthews out of Quincy, Florida. And he gets in to make it a 20-3 score. All right, Honeycutt on to attempt the point after. And there's a snap placement. Kick is airborne. And good. And so, with 9.20 to play in the first half, our score from Norman, 
Oklahoma 21, Florida a and 3. We'll be back after these words from our local sponsors on the Rattler Sports Network. I'm Mickey Clayton, Executive Director of the Rattler Booster Club. The Rattler Booster Club contributed $591,000 to the Athletic Department of Florida A&M University. Some of the things we were able to purchase this year was the Jumbotron, and we assisted with the scoreboard and the Al Lawson Center, and golf carts for our seasoned Rattler Booster supporters, pitching machine for the baseball team, the shooting machine for the basketball team. So the Rattler Booster program supports all athletic programs. Join the Booster Club. Call the Rattler Booster office at 850-224-6093. It's not too late. All right, O'Mara set to kick it off for the Sooners of Oklahoma. End over end kick, and James Owens decides to take a knee. The Rattlers will start first and 10 from our own 25 yard line. 9.20 to go here before the half. It would be a good time for the Rattlers to roll off a nice little drive here. Yeah. In the first week of play, the Big 12 went undefeated. Everybody won those openers. Boy, Texas Christian lambasting Grambling. It's 42 to nothing. So the Rattlers are standing up pretty good out here in Norman so far. Here we go. Give it to Eddie Rocket. And this time the Sooners string that play right down the line. And Eddie can't get past the line of scrimmage. He's actually going to lose a yard on the play. He's going to bring up second down and 11 for the Rattlers of Florida and him. And Mike, that last offensive drive may have given new life to that Sooner defense. Yeah. But you got to re you re what you're thinking about here, Keith, the Rattlers actually going without three starters in the ball game and the two top receivers, really. Well, the, the number two and three receivers. All right, here we go. Second and 11 for the Rattlers. Ball back at our own 24-yard line. Fleming pulls it now. He needs a block to get free and can't get free. He gets back to the line of scrimmage, though. He's going to bring up third down and 11. And let's give some credit to big number 38 for Oklahoma. That's Brandon Young, 5'10", 173-pound sophomore out of Frisco, Texas. And I like to look at this Oklahoma Sooner roster. And you go around the country, everybody's coming to Florida to recruit. But Oklahoma's really Raiding Texas. Third down and 12 now for the Ramblers. Fleming gives it to the Rocket. And boy, he tries to turn that corner. He gets back to the original line of scrimmage, but the safety comes up again and makes a good stop on that Rattler sweep. And it's going to bring up fourth down and 10 for Florida AM. Boy, and it's just a little more patience, Keith. He had a couple of blockers out there in front of him who were trying to get their blocks. He sort of outran the blockers. And gets knocked out of bounds. Yeah. Fourth down and 10 Rattlers. And uh, Brandon Holdren checks on to punt. Mike, I want to say hi to Ken Riley down in Bartow, former FAMU athletic director. In fact, he was the last athletic director when FAMU athletics operated in the black. Here we go. Here come the Sooners. Justin Brown at the 25, at the 20, at the 15, all the way down to the nine-yard line. And that's an outstanding punt return by Justin Brown. And Keith, the, the problem was the Rattlers didn't have anybody going down the left side. They, it, there were several people obviously out of their lanes. That's a mistake on our part. You could almost see that coming up before he caught the football. There was nobody in front of him on that side. You got a spread fan out there and cover the whole field. The Rattlers did not do a good job right there. And we're right back down there in scoring position on these Oklahoma Sooners. Yeah, Brandon Holdren, the Rattler punter, tried to make the stop. But, boy, they actually going to mark it at the eight-yard line. First and goal to goal for the Sooners. Landry Jones has gone all the way at quarterback for the Sooners tonight. And he's got a wing back and a running back. He gives it to Damian Williams once again. And Williams this time dropped at about the six-yard line. Actually, it was Brennan Clay instead of Damian Williams, the ball carrier that time. And Clay, it's a Dr. Hepburn on the stop for the Rattlers of Florida a and Once again, some of these Rattlers are going to get some good looks from some pro scouts here today. Sooners go wing back. 
And play action this time. Landry Jones. Boy, gonna be, boy he's going to be hit and dropped. That's a sack by the Rattlers. Big Frank Mays, Keith, comes in. Initial pressure really came from Brandon Davis. But Frank Mays, the 6'10", 295-pounder, comes in and gets a sack on Landry Jones. Yeah, he planted him at the 16-yard line. It's going to be third down and goal to go for the Oklahoma Sooners. And Landry Jones never saw him coming, Mike. He fought off one block, and Big Mays was coming on the blind side, and he planted him. Third down and 16 for the Oklahoma Sooners. See if we can force a field goal here. With 6.08 to go, Landry Jones sets up, looks to the end zone, fires downfield. That's a great catch by Kenny Stills. That's just good catching. That, that's how a receiver is supposed to catch the football. And the Rattler defender, Keith, was right where he was supposed to be. Jumped up to try to knock that football down. It, it goes over his head, and you're right. A good catch in the corner from Kenny Stills. Boy, that shouldn't happen that close down there, though. Rattlers had a defender in the area, but Landry Jones just zips that ball over his head. Yeah, Devin Roberts was the defender, but Kenny Stills made a great play. That's why you'll see him on Sundays. Here we go. Honeycutt on to attempt the point after. Snap placement. Kick is airborne. And good. And so with 5.59 to play here in Norman, Oklahoma, our score, Oklahoma 28, Florida a and 3. We'll be back after these words from our network sponsors of the Rattler Sports Network. program supports all athletic programs at the university. Join the Rattler Booster Club. It's not too late. 28 to 3. The Oklahoma Sooners leading the Rattlers of Florida and I want to say hi to uh, well, my pastor, Mike Reverend Devin Wright. Uh, newlywed, just got married a couple of weeks ago. And uh, he's a big Florida State fan. All right, here we go. High kick. Rattler's going to feel this one at the 10, 15. Dance at 20 and out to about the 22-yard line. Is that Owens? It's that a nice return. Goes. The Rattlers begin first and 10 from our own 22. Moving left to right with 5.54 remaining in the first half. Got a good block there by number 92. Lovejoy for the Rattlers. A defensive lineman out there on the special teams. Landry Jones is one of the few guys on the scene that's not from Texas or Oklahoma. He's from Artesia, New Mexico. Yeah. But again, as you said, man, it's a, it's a national brand. So you want to play uh, college football that's uh, just one step away from the next level. You go to Oklahoma. Here we go. Damian fires this one. This is a great catch out there. That's a nice looking catch. Anthony Williams is going to pick up about. About four yards, second down and six for the Rattlers. Yeah, Keenan, playing without their starting receivers here, what the Rattlers actually are doing is developing some depth right here at the receiver position. And, my, and, and this is a good place to do it because next week we're back in conference play, and these guys will be able to help us. Here we go, second down and six to go for Rattler first down. Damian Fleming pulls it down. Boy, the, the Sooners close quickly, but Damian pulls away, maybe gets another yard. Well, it looks like he's getting a bad spot there. Wow, they're going to say he lost a yard. Looks like he at least got back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe had gained a yard. Man, it looks, yeah, still looks like that. He's past the line of scrimmage. He's past the 25. Yeah, we lost, definitely lost a yard we there. We lost a yard on that one. On the replay, on the Jumbotron, 
he definitely had passed the 25 yard line but for whatever reason we got a spot at the 25 third down and seven now for the Rattlers Anthony Williams goes in motion that gives us three receivers or triplets to the boundary and Damian fires downfield for Travis Harvey he's got it at the 45 40 35 30 25 20 15 10 Travis Harvey 5 4 3 2 1 touchdown fam you Travis Harvey scores from 76 yards and brought some silence into the stadium Keith what a catch and he showed his speed there as he went die he was on the right side of the field after he made that catch he went diagonally across the field outrunning the entire Oklahoma secondary and the Rattlers cut into this lead and it's a 28 to 9 score with 426 to go before the half. Boy, Travis Harvey turned on the Jets, Mike, and he said he's the fastest man on the team. He looked like it on that he play. He looked like it on that play as he pulled away from some Sooner defenders. Extra point by Vonador is airborne and good. And in Norman, Oklahoma, with 426 to play in the half, our score, Oklahoma 28, Florida and 10. And we'll be back after these words from our local sponsors on the Rattler Sports Network. I'm Mickey Clayton, Executive Director of the Rattler Booster Club. The Rattler Booster Club contributed $591,000 to the Athletic Department of Florida A&M University. Some of the things we were able to purchase this year was the Jumbotron, and we assisted with the scoreboard and the Al Lawson Center. And golf carts for our seasoned Rattler Booster supporters. Pitching machine for the baseball team. The shooting machine for the basketball team. So the Rattler Booster program supports all athletic programs. Join the Booster Club. Call the Rattler Booster office at 850-224-6093. It's not too late. 28 to 10, the Rattlers trail the Oklahoma Sooners on the ensuing kick. A great return by Roy Finch as he brings it out to about the 35-yard line, maybe the 36, but there's a penalty marker on the play. It's going to be holding against the Oklahoma Sooners. And that'll back the Sooners up to their own 13-yard line. And so the Rattlers have shocked Oklahoma Memorial Stadium. Travis Harvey on a 76-yard touchdown pass as he outran every Oklahoma Sooner to the end zone. And here we go, Landry Jones on first down. He's going to hand it off. I think this time it's Damian Williams. Williams straight ahead. He's only going to get a couple of yards. You know, we actually haven't seen a lot of this up-tempo offense from the Sooners. Now they, they go a little bit quickly. There's another handoff. And the Rattlers are going to stack this play up at the 20-yard line. It's going to bring up about a third down and four. Okay, that was uh, Damian Williams once again. And Jonathan Pillow on the stop for the Rattlers. Boy, but great, great fighting there up in that Rattler defensive interior too, Mike. They're, they're not letting those Sooners blow holes in our, in our defense. No, it's a youngster too, Michael Lovejoy, that's in there now at the nose. Third down and one for Oklahoma. Ball resting at their own 22. Landry Jones with an offset eye and looks like he's going to pass. Throws the slant across the middle. He's got his man. That's uh, Kenny Stills. And still spinning and turning down at the 29. That's a first down for Oklahoma. 3.16 to go in the first half. 28 to 10. And here we go. Landry Jones real quick. Comes right back. Well, that pan, that's a great tightrope working catch over there by Trey Matwire. And he's going to step out of bounds at about the 36-yard line and make it second down and about three to go for Oklahoma. That's a gain of seven on that toss and catch. Offset eye again for Landry Jones. And this time he gives it to Damian Williams and he blows a hole in the Rattler defense all the way out to the 49-yard line and that's an Oklahoma first down. And really, Keith, this is the first time that we've seen the real up-tempo offense from Oklahoma. As now they get a couple of first down, but the Rattlers still managed to get a couple of substitutes into the ball game. All right, here we go. Again, the Sooners load the offset eye. 
twins to the far boundary. Isolated receiver near side. Round is threatening. Blitz. But drop off. Landry Jones sets up. Fires across the middle. That pass is caught. It's defended well. But it's, is that Kenny Stills? No, it's number three for Oklahoma. Sterling Shepard makes the catch and moves the chains. A 10-yard pickup. Great defense by the Rattlers, but does not stop the Sooners from getting the first down. Yeah, the Rattlers are going to have to get some pressure on Landry Jones. He's just too good a player to stand back there and have that kind of time. All right, Sooners isolation near side. Twins far boundary. And Jones once again fires for the end zone. Got a man down there. And boy, just overthrows the intended receiver. I think that was Kenny Stills. And boy, he ran into the band. He looks like he's injured. Boy, he and ran into a brick a, wall. There's a brick wall at the back of where the band is standing. In. And he's injured. Yeah. They're sending out the medical yeah, it staff. Is, it is Kenny Stills. And boy, I think he ran into that wall, Mike. He did. He slid into it. He, he absolutely laid out for that football and slides into a brick wall as, as some of the band guys moved out of the way. Well, and Mike, as good as Kenny Stills is, I think Travis Harvey is going to get him a good look. Looks like one of the better receivers on the field. Yeah. Oklahoma Memorial Stadium, where the Rattlers trail. The Oklahoma Sooners, 28-10. to 10. The Sooners with the ball. And the round of 41, second down and 10. Landry Jones, one setback, triplets to the far boundary. Two tight ends. They give it to, is this Brendan Clay or is it Damian Williams? It's Sorry, Clay. And Clay straight ahead for a couple. They'll make it third down and about seven to go for the Oklahoma Sooners. With a minute 43 to play in the first half. They both, Damian Williams and Brennan Clay, both out of San Diego. Two back set this time for Landry Jones. And the Rattlers come across and make contact. Let's see if uh, somebody moved. No. Offside, fam, you and I think the ref's mic is going out now. Yeah. It's going to be a five yard penalty. Boy, it was third down and six, and the Rattlers give them five to make it a third down and one. Yeah. Those are the kind of mistakes, Mike, that have to be corrected before going into conference play. Yeah, went with a hard count on that time. Third and one for Oklahoma. And the Sooners go into, and this is, well, this is a new quarterback in. This is uh, Blake Bell. And Bell's going to get the first down. Yeah, only a minute 16 remaining in the quarter. In the half, actually. All right, here come the Sooners now. They'll send Landry Jones back in. Bell is the running quarterback, and Jones is the passing quarterback. All right, Landry Jones, gonna, he's going to go spread with twin receivers to either side and one setback. All right, here we go. Landry Jones sets up, wants to pass, fires underneath, wide open at the 20, spinning and turning. That's uh, Brennan Clay, and he's down at the 19-yard line, and that'll move the chains. That's the Sooner first down. Yeah, actually, the Rattlers got pressure on Landry Jones again. Able to take him down just as he got rid of that football. A kill blunt on the stop for the Rattlers. Uh, outstanding young freshman football player. We'll tell you more about him after this play. Landry Jones sets up, wants to pass, fires across the middle. Well, that's a good-looking catch and a touchdown. Trey McGuire in the end zone. That's a strike from Landry Jones and a touchdown. That one goes. That was from about uh, 10 yards. From 10 yards. And the Sooners answer the Rattler score before the half. Rattlers came up, tried to play some bump and run, but Matuari is just too good. And the throw on the money. All right, Honey Cut on to attempt the point after. Here's the snap and placement. Kick is airborne and good. And so, with 36 seconds remaining in the first half, our score here in Norman, Oklahoma, Oklahoma 35, Florida and M10. We'll be back after these words from our network sponsors on the Rattler Sports Network.
Rattler Booster program supports all athletic programs at the university. Join the Rattler Booster Club. It's not too late. The flavor station always represent that real hip hop and RB. Sean D is in the building to that seven o'clock hour. End over end kick. Gonna be fielded at the goal line. 10, 15, and taken down there. It was James Owens, and so the Rattlers will begin first and 10. Trailing 35 to 10 now after. Trey Matoyer catches an 18-yard touchdown pass, and Honeycutt adds the extra point. Yeah, only 31 seconds to go, Keith. I'm guessing that Coach Taylor's just going to try to get to halftime here at 35 to 10 with not the good field position inside his own 15. Now, Mike, we talked a little bit about Akil Blunt, an outstanding recruit recruited by Earl Holmes, who himself was an outstanding um, student athlete at FAMU High, and then at FAMU, and then on to the pros, and back as the coach and worked his way up to defensive coordinator. It won't be long before Earl becomes somebody's head coach. And he's part of that Steelers connection, of course. His dad, uh, Mel Blunt, an outstanding player for the Pittsburgh Steelers as well. That's going to be the final play of the first half. With our score in Norman, Oklahoma, Oklahoma 35, Florida a and 10, and our Rattler Boosters halftime show begins now. Mike, it's been a hard-fought first half, but the Rattlers, uh, an FCS team, hanging right in there with the Sooners of the FBS. And I think we're seeing the best of the Sooners. They haven't done any substituting at all. We're looking at their number ones on both sides of the ball still. And I think the Rattlers did a good job. Gave up some points they shouldn't have given up on, but I think they're... Flavor Station always represent that real hip hop and RB. Sean D is in the building to that 7 o'clock hour. Just head to Facebook.com slash share a little sunshine and invite everyone you know to visit Florida. Now, go share a little sunshine. And here we go as we start the second half. And the Sooners of Oklahoma return it out to about the 32-yard line. Well, they'll begin first and 10 from there. Yep, the Rattlers picked up four first downs in the first half to Oklahoma's 14. The Sooners run the ball 17 times. They pick up 71 yards and 15 rushes. The Rattlers net 27 yards. Damian Fleming is 10 of 17 for 127 yards, one touchdown and one interception. Heisman Trophy candidate Landry Jones is 15 of 23. He's thrown two touchdown passes, and he's also been intercepted. Kenny Stills, their All-American, has seven catches for 91 yards. Travis Harvey, three catches for 107 yards. All right, here come the Sooners on first down. That's a great defensive play over there, Mike, by uh, Bobby Jackson. And it looks like it was Kenny Stills who made the catch over there, but he's going to be thrown for a loss of about four yards and that's just great defense by the Rattlers we'll set or reset the Sooner offense after this play Landry Jones from the gun one sent back twins near side Jones got pressure that pass is batted down good pressure right up the middle that time for the Rattlers look like Bobby Jackson Bobby, two straight plays Bobby Jackson uh, here the whole here here is the Oklahoma Sooners Line up as they begin the second half. Trey McTwire, Lane Johnson, the left tackle. Left guard is Adam Shedd. Gabe Eichert is the center. Bronson Irwin, the right guard. The right tackle is Darrell Williams. We'll tell you more, or we'll, we'll continue. we got penalty markers on the play. I think we're going to get a timeout before the penalty. The Rattler staff tried to get the timeout in before the penalty. Well, actually, we didn't get it. We didn't get it before 
didn't get the timeout before the penalty. We had a legal substitution with 12 men on the field. So that loss is just negated, and it'll bring up third down now and eight to go for the Sooners. The tight end is Geno Grissom, Justin Brown, the wide receiver, D Dominique Whaley, the running back, Landry Jones, that quarterback all the way so far tonight. And the fullback has been Trey Miller. An offensive lineman, actually the left tackle, Lane Johnson jumped, Mike, and let's see. Looks like it may be an infraction now against the Sooners. Yeah, they're going to mark it off five yards. Full start, offense, number 69. Five yard third down. Okay, so the five they just got, they just got on a penalty on us. They get they get back on their offsides, and so it's third down and 14 now for a 13 that is for the Sooners of Oklahoma. All right, here we go. Landry Jones wants to pass, sets up, has pressure, fires over the middle. That pass is caught by Kenny Stills. He eludes the Rattler. Still on his feet and takes it all the way down to the 48-yard line of FAMU. And Mike Kenny Stills is an outstanding athlete. Yeah, ran a great route right there, was able to get some separation and then make the first defender miss. And he's going to pick up a big first down. Yeah, that's a first down for Oklahoma. They come right back. It's Kenny Stills again. And Kenny Stills out of bounds at the Rattler 38-yard line. And that's going to be real close to another. It's going to be another Oklahoma first down. In the first half, the Rattlers actually dominated those time of possession, 17 minutes and 32 seconds to only 12-28 for the Sooners. Here come the Sooners. They're on the move at the Rantler 38-yard line with 13.47 to play. Landry Jones shouts instructions to his offensive line and steps back in the gun. And here Checking we go. the play. Yep. Calls his audible. Rantlers dig in, and they give it to Brennan Clay. And Clay this time is going to be hit. That's great tackling by the Rattlers of Florida a and Mike. And I think it's a Brandon Denmark. First Rattler stop. to get there. Absolutely was Brandon Denmark, who right now the Rattlers are on a nickel defense. So Brandon Denmark has moved to the inside linebacker spot. Good tackle right there. But they're still going to pick up about five yards. Yeah, they got a great spot on the play. It's going to bring up second down and five. Yeah. And they, here we go. They've been in this offset pistol for most of the ball game. Yeah. Once again, in the offset for Landry Jones. And again, they give it to Brennan Clay. And this time, he's pick his hole, picks, picking his hole and takes it all the way down to the Rattler 20. And so the Sooners come right out, march right down the field, and are in the red zone for the first time of the second half. Well, the Rattlers actually, Keith, they're in a nickel defense. They've got six defensive backs. Actually, they're in a dime package right now. And the Sooners running the football against that look. And here we go. It's Brennan Clay at the 10, the 5. Brennan Clay down to the one-yard line. And that was a touchdown saving tackle over there by Brandon Denmark. But once again, Brennan Clay, Rattlers thinking pass. Actually, it was number 19 of the Rattlers. Jonathan Pillow. Jonathan Pillow. Rattlers thinking the Sooners are going to come out passing, and they march right down the field on the ground. Landry Jones, two back set now. Actually, three back, a power set. You give it to Clay again, and Clay, boy, the Sooner offensive line just pushes him, Mike, into the end zone. That's what we needed a week ago. That's what we needed a week ago. The Sooners go down the field this time using the run against the Rattlers' dime package on this first series of the second half. And with 12-11 to go here in the third quarter, the Sooners take a 41-10 lead. And that's just the offensive line, Mike, not giving up on the play and powering Brennan Clay into the end zone for the score. Honeycutt on to attempt a point after. Here's a snap and placement. Kick is airborne and good. And so with 12-11 to play here in the third quarter, our score from Norman, Oklahoma 42 Florida AM 10. We'll be back after these words from our local our network sponsors on the Rattler Sports Network.
90.5, the flavor station, always represent that real hip hop and RB. Sean D is in the building to that 7 o'clock hour. Etheridge, here we go. Receivers to either side, two tight ends. The Rattlers are in an eye formation. This may, may be going back to the ground, but Damian's going to pass. Fires across the middle for Harvey, and that pass is incomplete. Boy, Damian got pressure that time. From the outside, that was King. David King, 6'5", 286, a senior out of Houston, Texas, that got some pressure. Forced Damian to throw that ball early. Third down and about five to go. Actually, four to go for Rattler first down. Yeah, Rattlers need to pick up some first downs, too, to keep yeah. this Oklahoma offense off the field. Yeah, it's, it's two halves to a ball game now. We did good in the first half. Let's, let's don't just give it away here in the second half. We got to play, play ball. Here we go. Damian fires. That pass is incomplete. Intended for Etheridge coming across the middle. It's going to bring up fourth down and four for Rantler first down. And again, it's three and out. And you have to give that ball to this explosive sooner offense. Well, Brandon Hodren will check on the punt. And Justin Brown will be deep to receive. And once again, as Mike said, the Sooners with a 39-point lead. But the number ones are still on the field. Good snap to Holdren. And again, he gets off a good kick. He's going to drive Brown back to about the... Well, it started to take a rattler roll and then rolled sideways and out of bounds at the 26-yard line where the Sooners will begin in Orangeburg. All right, here we go. They give it to Millard again, and Millard hurdling a rattler, getting the first down and taking it all the way down to the 44-yard line of FAMU. And this is what you worry about in games like this, Keith. The rattlers seem to be wearing down a bit here in the second half uh, and the, being pushed around now a little bit by this Oklahoma offensive line. And Brandon Denmark checks out of the Rantler defensive lineup. Yeah, I think it was Akil Blunt who checked in. Yeah, 8.37 to play here in Norman, Oklahoma. I understand Florida State is up 55 to nothing over Savannah State down in Tallahassee. Here we go. They hand it off to, is this Clay or is it Damian Williams again? Damian Williams is... Then the workhorse tonight, and it's Damian Williams again, and he takes it all the way down to the Rattler 28-yard line, and the Rattler gets up limping. Jonathan Butler. Jonathan Butler, defensive back out of uh, Rickard. Tallahassee Rickards. Yeah. And Seems to have tweaked an ankle a little bit. Yeah. Another, another big score. North Carolina A&T demolishes West Virginia State 77 to nothing. Wow. Wow. Delaware State and Delaware. Is that one final? Fourth quarter. Delaware 38. Delaware State 14. It's final. Yep. And uh, Howard Rutgers final. Rutgers 26. Howard nothing. Uh, Hampton, boy, they got clobbered by Old Dominion, 45-7. to seven. That's the Rattlers' next opponent. And Buffalo beats Morgan State 56-34. to 34. Boy, high scoring game. Yeah, but the big one, Bethune-Cookman stops South Carolina State in Orangeburg, 27-14. to 14. Yeah, that's a huge win. And Good sportsmanship, boy. The Sooner fans giving Jonathan Butler an ovation as he exits. He's going to begin to heat up now as we head into week three next week of the 2012 season. Landry Jones at quarterback. He's got Damian Williams in the backfield. And the ball's resting at the Rattler 26-yard line, first and 10. And they give it to Damian Williams again. This time, the Rattler looks like middle linebacker. That's got to be Hepburn. Stands him straight up. And takes him down. Yeah, one of the Rattlers' safeties also came up there, Keith, in on that play. Jonathan Pillar. Yeah. Hepburn gets the credit. And let's see. Second down and six after a four-yard gain for the Oklahoma Sooners. All right, here we go. Landry Jones. 
He's pretty much gone all the way. Had some Bell came in for a couple of running plays, but it's been Landry Jones, the workhorse. And he fires. Got a man who eludes a rattler, another rattler, and takes it down to the rattler nine. And here come those Oklahoma Sooners. That pass was complete to number 32 of the Sooners. Marshall Musil. And Marshall is a fullback, 6'2", 241 pound junior out of La Crosse, Kansas. They mark him at the 10, first and goal for the Sooners at the Rattler 10. Offset eye for quarterback Landry Jones. Got Brennan Clay in the backfield. Now this is Clay. They're going to run the stretch play, and he stretches it all the way into the end zone. Boy, and that's just outstanding blocking, Keith. The Rattler defensive line starting to wear down and tremendous blocking on the right side. They push the Rattlers back and go into the end zone. With 6.49 remaining now in the third quarter, Oklahoma has up this lead to 45 points. It's 55 to 10. Yeah. Now, I think at this point, Mike, we may begin to see some Oklahoma substitutes. Starting to impose their will on the Rattler defense. Now, Robert Sr. attacked me in the booth here, <laughs> killing one of those big crickets. Honeycutt on to attempt the point after. Here's the snap placement. Kick is airborne and good. And so, with 6.49 to play in the third, our score here in Norman, Oklahoma. The flavor station always represent that real hip hop and RB. Sean D is in the building to that 7 o'clock hour. As Clay, Brennan Clay, goes in from 10 yards out, Honeycutt adds the extra point. Here's the ensuing kickoff. And it's James Owens at the 15 20. And boy, he didn't get quite to the 20. He's going to be dropped at about the 18 or 19 yard line. Norfolk State, Mike, has. Taking the lead over Liberty, 25 to 24. Last year's conference champs, the Norfolk State Spartans. Yeah. Hey, fellas, real quick. Um, no number 28, Jonathan Butler, came out a little while ago. They actually, st they actually still have him here on the side of the bench, kind of nursing his ankles, um, icing up right now. And, uh, you know, Miss Aiden was kind of massaging. So I think he just tweaked something on his ankle. Hopefully he'll be back in next week. Yeah, Sean, real quickly, what's the mood of the players now as the game is being uh, opened up by Oklahoma? Well, for the defense over here, of course, they're very exhausted. You know, um, I, I actually been talking to a couple of them, and, you know, they're just trying to catch that wind, catch that breath over here because there's just so much going on. You know, they've been spending a lot of time on the field. So uh, the guys are trying to keep their heads up and, you know, just remaining positive that they just was able to put some points on the board. All right, Tyler Bass in at quarterback now for the Rattlers, and he completes a big first down catch to tight end Michael Etheridge moves the chains out to the 33 yard line first and 10 for the Rattlers and Mike that was a good looking play by Tyler Bass connecting with the uh, Etheridge yeah well I'd open Etheridge as they went with the naked boot on that play and Bass first down. now getting some work gonna isolate a receiver to the far boundary and put Twins over here to the near side. Hands it off to James Owens, who tries to tear in that corner. And Owens going to cross the 35, maybe the 36. Looks like that's where they're going to spot it. And so James is going to pick up three yards, second down and seven to go for a round of first down. And I think you're right, Keith. You're starting to see some of the twos come in now for the Oklahoma Sooners. They got most of the starters out on defense. Yeah. And the Rattlers uh, get giving Tyler some work. That's that's going to be that's going to pay dividends down the road in conference play. All right, here we go. Rattlers set, and Bass sets up, swings this one out for Owens. Owens looking for some blocking, lunges forward near the 40-yard line. It's going to be a few yards. It's going to so going to mark him at about the 38-yard line, and that's going to make it third down. And about five to go for a Rattler first now. Third and five. This defense for the Sooners keeps close so quickly uh, when the Rattlers get that ball in the open field. Yeah. All right, here, at the ridge. 
it's going to go as a wide out this time. And now they're going to they're going to bunch three to that side as they shift and isolate Harvey. And Bass throws the slant. It's caught by Travis Harvey. Travis Harvey lunges forward to midfield, and that's a Rattler first down. Move those chains. And we're going to get a face mask, and we're going to get 15 yards tacked on. Yeah, Travis Harvey, Mike, has really caught the eye of uh, some folks at the next level here tonight. I'll tell you what, Travis Harvey has looked like the second best receiver on the oh, field oh, yeah. tonight. Kenny Stills is first, but Travis Harvey is Not definitely far behind. second. Yeah. That's going to be... 15 yards tacked on. And the other thing, Keith, is as soon as you see the twos come in, this Rattler offense starts right Ooh, down the field. The ball's at, now marked at the Oklahoma 36-yard line. The Rattler offense is on the move. Here we go. Let's see if we can't cash in. Rattlers go. I formation. Receivers either side. Tyler Bass. Looking, looking, looking good. Mike. He looked good against Tennessee State a week ago. This is James Owens, and Owens fights his way across the 35, down to about the 33-yard line, spinning and turning for everything he can get. And he's going to get, looks like three, maybe four, depending, depending on the spot. Yeah, actually got an impressive drive going right here. Let's see if we can cash it in for some more points. Yeah. Second down, they're going to give him three. Second down and seven for the Rattlers. And here we go. Rattler's going to go twins to the far side. Tight end near side along with Travis Harvey for Tyler Bass. And Bass gives it to James Owens. Owens makes his cut too late, though, Mike. The hole was there, and he should have scooted on up and gone on the stretch play. But he's going to be stopped right at about the 31-yard line and make it third down. And about five to go for a round the first down. Yeah, the out, they ran the outside zone play, Keith. And that's called a one-cut run. And uh, right there, you saw him make a couple of cuts, and that's actually slowed him down. You're right. The hole was there. He's got to make one cut and turn it upfield. Yeah, here we go. Rattlers send triplets now to the near boundary on the motion. And Tyler Bass sets up. Sets up. Tyler. Boy, he's going to have to pull it down and run. He needs a block. Tyler turns up field. He's at the 30 and slides. Oh, man, I think he may be a yard short of the first down. Let's see if the Rattlers don't go for it. Yeah, we got to go for it. Yeah, he's going to be just short. He's going to be about a yard and a half short. All right, looks like the Rattler kicking team. This may be field goal unit. Chase monitor. He's already kicked a, his Chase is, he's already kicked a 41. This is going to be... It's going to be about 46. 46. Chase Monador, 46-yard field goal attempt from the right hash mark. Brandon Holdren will hold. Snap placement. Kick is airborne. It's got distance, and it's good. Chase Vonador with a 46-yard field goal with 2.10 remaining in the th third quarter. And our score, Oklahoma 56, FAMU 13. We'll be back after these words from our network sponsors on the Rattler Sports Network. I'm Mickey Clayton, Executive Director of the Rattler Booster Club. The Rattler Booster Club contributed $591,000 to the Athletic Department of Florida a and University. Some of the things we were able to purchase this year was the Jumbotron, and we assisted with the scoreboard and the Al Lawson Center, and golf carts for our seasoned Rattler Booster supporters, pitching machine for the baseball team, the shooting machine for the basketball team. So the Rattler Booster Program supports all athletic programs. Join the Booster Club. Call the Rattler Booster office at 850-224-6093. It's not too late. I'm going to sit at the Roberts Cleaters. <laughs> Here we go, Rattlers kick it off after the field goal by Chase Varnador, 46-yarder. And it's 56 to 13. A great return by looks like number 22 for the Oklahoma Sooners, and that's Cortez Johnson, 6'2, 191, a sophomore out of New Orleans. And he's going to set the Sooners up with good field position. Actually, Keith, I think that's Roy Finch. Oh, it is Roy Finch. You're right. Yeah. yeah. Roy Finch, actually, uh, a Floridian out of the Niceville area. Okay. Yeah. And so he wanted to get in. Do a little something against his homeboys, huh? All right. Sooners at the 46-yard line of uh, Oklahoma. New quarterback. And uh, let's see. That's number it, 10. Blake Bell. Yeah, he's been in a couple of plays on some running plays. He's, he's more of a runner than uh, Landry. So 
He's a, more of a dual threat. And uh, boy, but he doesn't have to duel this time. He hands it off to a new running back. And, yep. and that's Whaley. Whaley again. But Whaley is a one. Yeah, and they're running the ball, Keith. The Rattlers, have, a lot of the second half have had the two safeties up high. And that's when you want to run the football. That's really the sign. They haven't been bringing that eighth man down into the box. Yeah, Dominic Whaley is a one, and he picks up the first down. Ball's resting at the Rattler 43-yard line. And Sooners ago, looks like they're going to give it again to Whaley. He bounces. He was hit behind the line of scrimmage and somehow eludes both tacklers who had him trapped behind the line and picks up positive yards. Yeah, he's going to end up with about four yards on that play out inside the Rattler 40-yard line. Yeah, Brandon Hepburn missed him. And uh, number 90 for the Rattlers. Uh, Mays also missed him. Yeah, big Frank Mays. 16, Frank yeah. Mays. Yeah. Clement Johnson looked at him at the Boosters kickoff and was like, oh, I need to talk to him toward the end of the football season. All right, here we go. Second down and six to go. And they hand it off to Dominique Whaley again. Another hole, and Whaley fights his way to the 30-yard line, and that's a sooner first down. Rattler defense is getting worn down here. Yeah, and it's the offensive line that's doing a, a, just a yeoman job out there. Rattler's actually had some subs in the game. Yeah. Mike Ducree and Brandon Hepburn's check out. And a couple of new linebackers check in. Jonathan Butler, Butler is one of them. Yeah, Butler went out injured a little earlier. It's good to see him back. All right, here we go. Blake Bell at quarterback for the Sooners. Uh, from the gun. And Bell. Boy, he's going to be hitting sacks. That's good defense by the young Rattlers now. Some young Rattlers in there. Yeah, he wanted to throw the swing pass out here. But the Rattlers had that cover, Brian Denmark, and then the Pressure came from behind. Yeah, Kashan Butler, 6'1", 235, the sophomore out of Dania, Florida, comes in and sacks him. Down in Broward County. Yeah. Second and 16 for the Sooners. With, that's my, that probably is the last play of the third quarter. Yep, looks like they're going to let it run on out. Five, four, three, two, one. And that is the end of the third quarter play with our score here in Norman. Oklahoma 56, Florida and 13. We'll be back for the fourth and final quarter of this one after these words from our local sponsors on the Rattler Sports Network. The flavor station always represent that real hip hop and RB. Sean D is in the building to that 7 o'clock hour. And this time, Bass play action fires. That pass is caught. caught. By Adamson Felix. And he's going to pick up three, second down, and about seven to go for the Rattlers of Florida AM. Sean, uh, what's the mood like down on the sideline? Guys, the mood is still pretty, you know, mellow down here. I think a lot of the guys are starting to ice right about now. Um, you know, of course, taking our first string guys out, trying to save it for next week. And, uh, you know, some of the um, second string guys are actually getting some time to get on the field. But real mellow on this side, you know, a lot of the coaches are still trying to encourage the guys to keep their heads up. Yeah, spoken like a true. Oh, boy, nice run outside. Owens. This is James Owens. He's going to get the first down all the way out to the 40-yard line. That's a good-looking run by James Owens. Spoken like a true impresario, Mike. The mood is mellow. mellow. It's mellow. <laughs> Sean D, the impresario. That's Sean D, the gunslinger down Oh, here. yeah. Locked and loaded. <laughs> Inside joke. 12.49 to go for the Rattlers of Florida a &M in this big one against Oklahoma. Tyler Bass hands off, and boy, there's not much there this time. It's Oklahoma sooner to stop James Owens. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure that uh, Mike Stoops isn't real happy about the fact that the Rattlers are moving this football on this second unit. Yeah. 
James Owens a great story, Mike. Uh, missed all last year for academic reasons. But really happy to be back in uniform and on the field this year. Certainly one of the fastest rattlers on this football team. Yeah, and he's the leading rusher right now with 35 yards and six carries. All right, here we go. Rattler set. And it's Tyler Bass. Bass hit and sacked. Bass tried to step up in the pocket, but there was nothing there. Actually, that's a coverage sack. Yeah. They took his first two looks away, and he had to eat the football there. Yep, coverage sack uh, made by Marcus Marquis Anderson. Yeah, and only the fourth sack of the ball game, so really, Keith, the offensive line has done a great did a pretty good job. And yeah. a couple of those sacks was just a quarterback scrambling around yeah. trying to run after after everything was taken away from. Third down and about 13 to go for Rattler first down. Tyler Bass. This time's going to swing it out here to Adamson Felix, and boy, somebody missed the block over here. As Felix tried to go between two Sooners and nothing going. It's going to bring up fourth down and ten. Fourth down and nine. So he got four yards on the play, but makes it fourth down for the round. Yeah, big Julian Wilson, 6'2", 191-pound corner from right here in Moore, Oklahoma. Comes up with that play. 10.55 and the clock running. Rattlers in punt formation with Brandon Holdren out there. Back to field this punt again is Justin Brown. Holdren gets off a low punt this time. It is over on the left side. It's going to go out of bounds. And let's see how far they walk up the sideline. They're going to spot it at the 28 yard line. And that's where Oklahoma will start this drive with 10.39 to go here in the fourth quarter. First down, Wilson in at quarterback. Looks to the sideline and changes his play. He's the Rattlers coming a bit, so he's going to hand that ball off to Roy Finch, the running back from Niceville. He's going to be stopped for no gain on that play. Looks like Michael Brandon Hepburn and Michael Lovejoy in on that stop. It's going to be second down and 10, and now they're still with the up-tempo offense. They're at the line and ready to go again. Yeah, Mike, I'm looking at the defensive stats, and Brandon Hepburn... That will be only his fourth tackle. That seems a little low. But here we go. Is this Blake Bell or we got a new quarterback? No, it's Bell. Bell's pass is caught and dropped at the 35-yard line. Yeah, Rattlers did a good job right there rallying to the football. Michael Ducree going to get there and make that tackle as the clock goes under 10 minutes. It's a gain of six for Oklahoma. It's going to bring up third down and four. Pass was complete to number 18, LaColton Bester. Ball's resting at the Sooner 35-yard line. Back moves but gets set. And Bell fires across the middle. That pass is caught. Way down at the Rattler 35-yard line. And wide open was Sterling Shepard. 5'10", 188-pound freshman out of Oklahoma City. Local kid doing good on that play. Sooners now lined up at the Rattler 37-yard line, first down and 10, as it goes under nine minutes. Blake Bell, one setback. Twins to the near boundary and isolated receiver to the far side. And the Sooners, with the ball resting at the Rattler 37 yard line. Now Rattler's bringing the blitz. And Bell's going to be sacked. Is that Patrick Scott? Patrick Scott was in on that play. The Rattlers came with a late safety blitz, but it was Patrick Scott with a big push up the middle. Yeah, Patrick. Patrick Scott. Yeah, and we've got some information here. Of course, everybody in Tallahassee knows this. The game, Florida State Savannah State game, was actually called in the third quarter because of concerns about lightning in the area. I think at 55 to nothing, the uh, outcome was pretty much in hand. Yeah, most more importantly, we've got to fly back through that 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 yeah, uh, yeah. that weather. Hopefully it's gone by the time we get down there. 
Sooners going to set up the bubble screen up the middle. Eludes one Rattler, but stumbles down at about the 40. A check at the 36 yard line. And so it's going to make it second down, and a third down, that is, and nine to go. You know, we were talking about the fact, Keith, that we had a. Uh, Looks like that system is moving out of the Tallahassee area as we look at it on our engineer, Jerome Swain's iPhone. And we can actually see the, the, the storm system yeah. moving. Yeah. You know, some of us don't have iPhones. <laughs> All right, here we go. Blake Bell sent up. He's forced out of the pocket, but he's got a lane. There's a Rattler there, and it puts a shoulder on him, but Bell's going to lunge forward and be real close if he didn't get the first down. Now, Akil Blunt was the first to put on some pressure, but he was able to get down field. Antoine Matthews Keith, has gotten a lot of time at corner. Young man oh, out of wow. East Gaston. Number 16 for the Rattlers. Yeah, that's Antoine Matthews. Boy, he took a shot from Blake Bell. And Blake Bell just punished him. He, he, it, the force of the hit was enough to bring Bell down, but not before he got the first down. All right, here we go. Sooners. Give to number 22, spinning and turning still on his feet. And that kind of tackling, Mike, we definitely have to sure up before we get into conference play. Yeah, because he was hit right Finch. at the line of scrimmage yeah. right there. Finch able to spin off. He's going to get down inside the 15 for another sooner first down. A he couple actually, of Rattlers just bounced right off him. You cannot, you cannot arm tackle a good running back. You got to put a shoulder on him. Yeah, really comparable to Eddie Rocker. Five down, about yeah. 185 pounds. Yeah, Sooner is now with the ball at the Rattler 15. And here we go. They give it to Boy, Finch. Boy, look at that blocking. Look Ten, at that block. Five. Touchdown. Finch from 15 yards out. And boy, the wide receiver put the cornerback on his back as the Sooners now rack up 68 points to the Rattlers 13 with 559 still remaining in the ballgame. Just tremendous blocking that time on the right side for the Sooners. Eight plays, 71 yards. It took four minutes and 40 seconds off the clock. And Honeycutt's on to attempt the point after. Snap placement. Kick is on the way. And good. And so Oklahoma has put its 69th point on the board. And they leave the Rattlers of Florida AM 69 to 13. And with a break in the action, we'll be back after these words from our network sponsors on the Rattlers Sports Network. Point five, the flavor station always represent that real hip hop and R&B. Sean D is in the building to that seven o'clock hour. Boy, it'd be nice if the Rattlers could put together a sustained drive and run the clock. Out. Here we go, James Owens. 10, 15, 20, 25, and Owens fights his way to the 30-yard line. That's a good return. The Rattlers will begin first and 10 from there. The first best return of the evening right there. Yeah, you, you talked about that storm system, Keith. We have absolutely seen everything that Oklahoma has offered. We yeah. got here, it was 105 degrees. Funnel cloud forming. I saw a funnel cloud forming. Got a dust storm, 50 degree winds while we were here at the stadium setting well, 50 up. 50 mile per hour winds. Yeah, 50 mile per hour winds. We go back to the hotel. Thunder and lightning. Pouring down rain. And now it's getting cool. Now, now it's supposed to be the low tonight, 60 degrees. All right, here we go. Tyler Bass under center. Gives to this is Jordan Stanley in the ball game for the Ramblers. And Jordan fights hard for two. Second down and eight. That's uh, George Stanley's son. And I just I just heard his uh, ears perk up when we, we called his son's yeah. name oh, yeah. right there. Yeah. 
George, George is a big Raider fan. We, we're going to open up Monday Night Football in the, in the, in the nightcap of Monday Night Football uh, Monday night. Jordan is the eye back in the eye formation here. Tyler Bass on the center. Orange helmets down. And play action. Tyler bootlegs. Sets up and Boy, well, kind, kind of smartly yeah. throws that one away so we don't take a sack. It's going to bring up third down and eight for the Rattlers. 5'10". Want that clock to run a little more, though. Yeah, need to run the football yeah. a little bit more. Wanna keep that clock running. Yeah, but we need a first running. down right here to keep the football. Yeah. Rattler shuffling new players into the game also. Number 89 now, and that's Dennis Hall, 5'10", 186-pound redshirt sophomore from Pihokee. Oh, the fan cam is going now. And some of those boner sooners are really having a good time on the jumbotron. Here we go. Jordan Stanley, the long Rattler setback. Tyler Bass play action. Swings this one out here to Adams and Felix. And Felix turns up field and fights his way to the 40-yard line. He's going to be real close. I think he's going to have a first down. To a Rattler down. first down. Good blocking that time in front of him too, Keith. Yeah, they're going to move the chains. That's a Rattler first down. Yeah, and give credit to number 89, Dennis Hall, who made an excellent yeah, block out there for he him. He blocked his man and opened up a lane for Adamson to get the first down. Ball's resting at our own 40-yard line. We'll keep that clock going, too, at 457. So number 87, Anthony Williams getting a little more action. Yeah, just want to update Sean, our players of the game. Uh, Travis Harvey on offense, uh, Jonathan Pillow on defense, and Chase Varnador. On special teams. This is Jordan Stanley. He's going to be trapped behind the line and dropped. Maybe gets back to the line of scrimmage. We'll call it second down and 10 for the Rattlers of Florida a &M. Yeah, I think the Sooners realized that the Rattlers want to run the football too. They brought that eighth man down into the box to try and stop the run. But you're right, Keith. Excellent experience coming now for the Rattler backup. So we're getting some action out here. Rattlers go I formation. Stanley is the I back. Receivers to either side. And here we go. It's Jordan Stanley. And Jordan Stanley steams his way to the 45-yard line. That's Jordan Stanley steamer. I picked up on that. You like that, huh? You like that. You like that. Going to be third down and five. Rattlers with another third down situation. All right, here we go. Players of the game once again, uh, Travis Harvey on offense, Jonathan Pillow on defense, and Chase Vonador on special teams. All right, here we go. Jordan Stanley tries to bounce outside this time. Can't go. It's going to bring up... Uh, Fourth down for the Rattlers. And the Rattlers going to have to punt with 3-12 to play. Leading rusher for the Rattlers so far, James Owens. He's got 35 yards and six attempts. Eddie Rocker, 34 yards and eight attempts. Travis Harvey with four receptions, 118 yards and a touchdown. Yeah, Brandon Holdren on the punt. He's had a good night, Mike, also. A lot of directional punting. Yeah. This one, boy, takes up sooner bounce. Yeah, going to be dead. Yeah. Obviously, we expect our, our numbers to be a little higher next week. All right, here we go. New quarterback in. And, boy, here. But, boy, this is a great run. Roy Finch again. Roy Finch. You got a new quarterback in. I think it's Drew Allen. But that was Roy Finch, and boy, he rips that Rattler defense all the way down to the Sooner 48-yard line. Drew Allen in at quarterback now. And boy, Roy Finch is probably going to finish the night for the Sooners. Rattler's got some youngsters in, too, though. And we've got whistles. I think it was movement that time on the offensive line. Yeah. False start against Oklahoma. Now back him up five.
Rattlers with the new faces in now on defense as well. Gaining valuable experience as the clock goes under two minutes, 144 and, and counting now. And boy, here's this is gonna be another flag as it looked again as of some movement. Yeah, this time it was the left guard, number 52, that moved, so they're gonna back up five more. Yeah. Okay. 137 to go. Uh, remember, Bob Stoops, Mike, uh, should Rattler fans not remember this, was the defensive coordinator at University of Florida under Steve Spurrier before he came to Oklahoma. So he, he knows a lot about Florida. Here we go. Drew Allen from the gun hands it off to Finch again. And, boy, Finch breaking tackles but finally goes down at the 45-yard line. And that will keep the clock moving with a minute 10 to play. Yeah, tackle by number 41 for the Rattlers. Now, Chase Vonador, Mike, uh, got a couple of field goals on the night to be our special teams player of the game. Yeah, that was Cambrell Willis on that last tackle. 5'11", 230-pound senior from Miami, Florida, Booker T. Washington. Yeah, Vonador with a 41-yard field goal and a 46-yard field goal to his credit on the night. As well as the extra point after the big Travis Harvey touchdown. And, and nice deep kickoffs. Yeah. All right, here we go. New back. This is Dominic Whaley, a, a, a one back in. And play and uh, penalty markers. Yeah, we might may be have a face, a face mask, mask yeah. on that, yeah. Dominic... Bob Stoops puts a number one back in with less than a minute to play. And we grab his face mask. And Finch immediately checks back in. Yeah, our players of the game, once again, uh, Travis Harvey on offense. Jonathan Pillow on defense. Man, Jonathan, 13 total tackles on the night. Chase Varnador, special teams. Defense, number 41, 15-yard penalty automatic first down. Yeah, that infraction went against uh, Cambriel Willis. You just talked about him. Youngster getting some action against uh, the number five team in the FBS, the Oklahoma Sooners. Drew Allen now with twins to the far boundary. He's going to isolate a receiver over here to the near side. And Eight seconds. This actually may be the last play of the game, if if they even snap it. I think that's going to be the that's ball game. That's going to do it. That's going to be the ball game. And that's a, that's a classy act by Bob Stoops, too. They win it 69-13. to 13. Uh, The Sooners of Oklahoma against the Rattlers of Florida a and University. And we'll be back with our Visit Tallahassee Rattler wrap-up show. And we're going to be champions. We can't be fair weather people. We've got to be there when the chips are down. We've got to be there when the smiles are on our faces. True champions fight every day. True champions fight all the time. True champions fight when they're tired. Anybody can go when you're on the mountaintop. But we got to go when we're down in the pit. And we're going to the top. But the march to the top starts right here tonight. This is the year of the 